You want to go do something fun today? Yeah, me too. What do you want to do? Walk? Few people know this, but Eastern Oregon is probably the most fun place in all of North America. Sure, I mean, you look at it and you think, okay, few people, 110 degrees in the summer, snow in the winter. We just had an armed robbery attempt at our local casino. One of our local politicians just got pulled over for drunk driving. Most of downtown is closed for street work. One of the largest employers in town is the state prison. Not really that much going on in terms of society or culture. And you might think it's not fun here. But today, I'm gonna to show you why Pendleton is the place to move to. Putting the rain cover onto his hiking backpack will absolutely guarantee, and this is a Northeast Oregon trick, it's something I've learned up here, will absolutely guarantee it doesn't rain or snow the moment you step outside the door. And most often that's because by the time I finally get the rain cover on, it's a new season. Manual dexterity stuff, cannot do. This is always 1000% easier in the instructional videos. Yes, <laughs> I got it. Okay, <laughs> that's one side done. That's 100% as I expected it to be. Another nice thing about Eastern Oregon is it has a terrific sense of humor. It loves to do things like lull you into false sense of security, where you step outside and see sunshine and think, oh, there's no way it can snow anymore. Then as soon as you get up to your local trail system, in rolls an unexpected snow front that's supposed to be here in about mm, five minutes. This loop should take about 45 minutes. If my math is right, it's gonna get cold. Just to be on the safe side, I did put Kiddo in his bear suit. It's a snowsuit, but that's a one piece, kind of really fuzzy furry thing that makes him look like a little teddy bear. It's his bear suit, it's so cute. The hill right there was in the foreground when I first got here. And there's a hill behind it where the snow was. Now, this hill is where the snow is. It's getting closer and closer and closer. Oh God, it's getting, it's getting so much darker out here. And the snow is legit starting to come down now. Oh buddy, oh boy. What have I gotten this into? Ah, oh. Obi, what do we do? We're gonna get nailed. We're just gonna get nailed. It's coming at us so fast. Right here, this is a halfway point. We're halfway through this walk. Hey, put your hood up. Did I put your hood up? Yeah, okay, good. This is an old homestead. They erected like barrier walls around the entire site. Could you imagine what it must have been like to live here just on the open plains 100, 150 years ago when all you had was a wood burning stove and no electricity, no modern amenities? Strong work on them. That's as close as I will ever come probably to an Arctic adventure. But even with that very small, minute, just tiny taste of being outdoors in the bad weather, I can see why people do it. I can see why explorers left and traveled thousands of miles across the globe to go see new lands and have experiences they otherwise wouldn't in front of their warm, comfortable fires. Doing something like that just really gets my blood flowing and I love it. That was so much fun. You know, every time, every time, it's the exact same thing. I sit at home forever, just trying to get the activation energy to go out and do something, and say, oh, it takes so much effort. I don't wanna do this, it's not gonna be fun. Then the moment, the very moment I step outside, I have so much fun and it's so invigorating, 
I wonder why I wasn't out here sooner. Every time. And then, and then here's what's worse. Here's what's worse. I'll go back home, completely forget how much fun I had, and sit on the couch again tomorrow. And not want to do anything. I don't understand myself. Have a good day, big boy. Do it again. Fist bump. Fist bump. <laughs> I know my go-to's after a cold day outside is to light a wood fire in our stove. But hey, it makes me feel good. And Oh, and, and that's what today is all about. It's just about having fun and doing stuff that we enjoy. Like chewing on thumbs. I'd like to say that I'm gonna light a wood stove to warm up this guy, and I'm doing it for him so he feels better. But nah, I'm doing it for me. I just like to, like to light fires. That really sounded bad, didn't it? <sighs> you know, our ancestors were onto something. This is, this is good really good. I don't know why we ever moved out of the caves. <laughs>